In this video, we're going to talk about how to set up your credit card processing in the Firefly Point of Sale system. Let's start by going to Configuration, Tax Tender Cash, and click on the Credit screen. We want to start by activating credit card processing. And then select your processor. We have three basic options. Mercury Payments, PPI, or Paymovers are our preferred providers, which provide a direct, secure, tokenized integration. If you're using a different processor, you'll need to pick PC Charge, and you'll need to have the PC Charge software installed on one of your machines. Let's start out by selecting Mercury. Because we've got Mercury selected, the next field can be skipped, and we'll move right on to the Merchant ID, which Mercury will give us. We also need to enter in the proper URL for Mercury, which should also be on your Merchant Setup Sheet, as well as your password. The information here is not what you will be using, as this is a development test account. Now, if you're choosing Paymovers or PPI, the fields are similar. You'll enter your token, account information, the URL, and the password. With PC Charge, you'll need to select the processor that you're using, and then you'll also enter your merchant ID. The IP address here of the machine on your local network where PC Charge is located. The port that your PC Charge is using to communicate, and again, the password. Of course, you'll also need to set up the PC Charge software itself with your merchant processing information. Please see documentation on that process. Okay, let's move on to some of the Firefly options that are universal no matter who your processor is. You can choose how many credit cards to receipt, receipts to print when a credit card is run, one or two. Typically, you're going to print two unless you're using carbon paper. The font size on the receipt, small or large. Do you want to include a tip line to allow your customers to add a tip? Do you want to mask the card number on a merchant copy? This is generally recommended for good security practices, although it is not required by PCI standards at this time. The no signature option depends on your merchant processing agreement. You may be allowed to process transactions under a certain dollar amount without requiring a customer signature. In that case, you may not want to print the credit card receipt at that time either. You have the option to include the cardholder name and to print delivery credit card slips at the time of the order, when the actual delivery is dispatched, or both. If you'd like to enter a security code, the CCV number on keyed orders, for better security, you can check this box. The next line is again for PC Charge users, and it just allows us to, to define a user ID for each station in our system. The defaults should be fine for you. You can choose to archive data after a particular amount of time. Our default setting is one day, which means that all data will be removed from the Firefly database, even though it is an encrypted form after your close of batch. The disadvantage of this means that you will need to obtain a new, uh, to receive the card from the customer again if you need to avoid a transaction after a day has gone by. And finally, the option to allow credit processing on the batch screen, which means you can process a sale or a credit without an associated ticket in the POS system. When we save our settings, we'll be asked for an administrative password. If you've never created one for yourself before, you'll need to create one at this time. This password must be at least seven characters long. A couple other settings you might want to look at under Printer Ticket, in the body of your receipt, you have the option to add credit authorization information rather than printing a separate credit slip. You can turn that on if you'd like. We also have a few security settings to look at, including the option to reprint a credit card slip, and in the managers area, the option to process credit cards without a ticket. 